What was Tunku Abdul Rahman's, your grandfather's vision for the country? He wants a peaceful, progressive nation. That was his vision. And by building Malaysia as it is, the three main races, he hoped that these three main races intermarry with each other and understand each other and live in one, under one roof lovingly, peacefully. What were, you, what were your fondest memories of him? Two things actually, two. The Hari Raya. This is something that the whole family misses. It's the family togetherness. Everybody is there at the same time. We don't need Facebook to, you know, keep in touch with, with each other. We see each other at least once a year. You didn't have to go from house to house to meet everybody. everybody goes to my granddad's house. Um, it's on this memory is right. It'll never be ever the same again. And um, watching news with him actually because he gets stressful watching news the way some of the issues that the gov government of the day brings up that was he was not happy about. So he would make himself, you know, he would talk about it in, and I'd be behind there listening in why he's unhappy. I, as a child, I didn't catch too much, but at least I know he's not happy in certain things that the government does. And he makes sure that he says it, and he says it through his column in the Star as well. And I know through your work in PAGE, you're, you're trying to push for English and math to be, uh, sorry, for math and science to be taught in English, or at least schools should have a choice. And also, you, want, um, you hope that English medium schools will be brought back. Do you think this is something he would also want to do if he was Prime Minister now? He had mentioned in one of his articles that science and mathematics must be taught in English for a long time to come. That he had made known. So he was not very happy that the system had changed to Basamesia because he feels that English is important for higher education. So you must prepare yourself to go into higher education.